And some teams it helps, some teams it hinders, and you need those guys to fit into your system, which we'll talk about later on. Boom. Segway. <laughs> right. Segway. Last way. Last question before we go into the picks here. Uh, bigger impact. Uh, Carolina linebackers or Arizona secondary? <laughs> linebackers. Because I know y'all been talking about Kingley, but y'all they have two of the best yeah. linebackers. Nobody's even talking about Thomas Davis. They have two of the best linebackers. <laughs> no one is talking about in Thomas in Davis NFL. right now. Carolina's <laughs> linebackers. Carolina. They don't even they, just put them two on the field and have. Every, those two guys Solid, between man. Davis and Solid. Kingley are two of the best linebackers in the league, and they will have. And with if, if Matthews would have been here, you could have made an argument about Arizona's secondary with Peterson, and because Tyron Matthews is a ball hawk, the Honey Badger don't give a shit. He will hawk the ball, he'll go after it. But right now, it's the linebackers for Carolina. Your thoughts on this, Mike? Man, I mean, surprise, surprise. I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals. No, 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 I'm going with Cam Newton. <laughs> like, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. I just don't trust Carson Palmer as much, you know, as everybody else seems to. I mean, I, I've seen the man crumble a few times, and I think Carolina's that type of team, especially looking at how Green Bay was able to get them to limit them last, you know, last game, and the fact that they have that, you know, they rely heavily on the running game. I think it's safe to say we all think, you know, Arizona's key to winning is, you know, get the, that passing game going, you know, and you know, the uh, Panthers, they have the defense to slow that down and nullify that. Uh, Cam and company, they're going to be home. You know, uh, we got all these weapons and so on and so forth. But since they have such, like, you know, a stout running game because of the QB and the running back, they also got time on this side. And I feel like that's also going to get, you know, to the Cardinals as well. I feel like they can get down at some point and just them running the ball constantly, that time of possession is going to come into play and, you know. I, I just can't see it for the Cardinals. I know if any Arizona fans listen to this, they're probably going to hate me. Um, you know, <laughs> suck it up. <laughs> Mike, is, <laughs> Mike is one of those guys that just helped Carolina get to the number one ranking in the uh, jersey sales this weekend. Catfish, your thoughts on the uh, impact? Hey, Cam Newton owes me a football if they, if they win. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we doing predictions? I, no, I, mean, I, I think... Uh, well, we're talking about uh, the and bigger impact between the linebackers, Carolina linebackers, and Arizona secondary. Okay, well, I think the the linebackers will have, but if Arizona wants to win, I mean, they better bring their secondary. They better if they if they want to win, then their secondary is gonna have to do something to Cam and make a big play. But I, I mean, I don't think they will. As far as the impact, I think the linebackers are just better. No, no. But, no, I mean, no. I think yeah. Arizona has to – they have to come out and um, and cause a turnover early to keep them in the game. So, okay. I mean, we'll okay. just see. All right, your thoughts, Steve? You can always get linebackers. All right. I mean, I just – I just need to shout this for you repeating what everybody's just saying. I mean, it really just boils down to that. Gotcha. Realistically, you know what I mean? All right, the picks are in. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and ask around the round We table. don't need to ask Mike who and, he's picking. And, and, well, who, who will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? And we'll start with uh, Mr. Ambro, Mike. We already know. That's why I tell Surprise, you. surprise, surprise. You know, I'm going to go with Cam Newton and the Panthers. Um, you know, despite the fact I just kind of completely fumbled the last question, didn't even talk about the secondary. <laughs> um, I got to go with the linebackers, you know, because, you know, I had to be different. I had to answer the questions out of order and everything. I'm a trendsetter. So, <laughs> the linebackers, man. They, they, you did a prediction on the my... first question. You definitely were. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did a switch. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the linebackers, they're a dual threat, man. I mean, you see what they did to poor Tony Romo? They beat him up and picked him off. <laughs> you know, like, he, he couldn't buy a break from these guys. And I just feel like, you know. It's going to be a similar situation here. You know, the, the Panthers, it just seems something about destiny for them this year. You know, like, it just seems like something's on their side. Even when Cam hasn't had, quote-unquote, great, great games. And I got to love places like ESPN for this type of thing because no matter what the team does, it's always the quarterback that pulled it off. Like, it can be <laughs> the quarterback can put up seven points and the defense can get, like, four picks and put up, like, three touchdowns and it'll win, like, you know, 28 to, like, zero. And like, man, but did you see Cam? He didn't mess it up, though. Like, wow. <laughs> and, you know, when you got a team like that, you know, especially them being in Carolina, you know, I, I just got to go 
Got to go with those Panthers, man. All right. Steve? I wouldn't ever get. Uh, give me the uh, your pick and the final score for that. I'm going to go with the Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the Panthers. Uh, 24-14. Ooh, okay. Catfish. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Panthers. I'll say they'll win it. Um, uh, thirty-one twenty-one. Carter. I got I got a damn sunflower seed stuck on my tooth. You go ahead. Okay. It's got stuck. <laughs> Ow. I got the Panthers. Um. Like everybody reiterate on this show, it's just Cam has been playing fantastic, and um, I had to see him finishing the deal. I, I thought it would have been, uh, you know, I, they they just got over the hunt when they beat um, Seattle. That was pretty much everybody. Like a few people favored at the beginning of the season and uh, week four, and and ever since then they just been on a roll. And and uh, I, I gotta give credit to them and that that whole that whole offense and that whole defense. We can just go on about Carolina, but um, it just. Fantastic what they're doing. They just took took care of business, and uh, I can see them reference in the NFC in the Super Bowl. And um, the score for me will be they will definitely limit Arizona offense. That is very very potent. Um, but I, I think it'd be twenty four seventeen. Uh, Carolina pulls it out in uh, snowstorm. Jonas, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Carter. Carolina wins. You got a score. I ain't got no damn score. <laughs> I mean, they'll score more than Carolina or than the Cardinals will. So basically, you give giving us a uh, what kind of commentary? They can win fucking two to nothing for all I care. They're going to win. You're giving us damn foul. So, uh... <laughs> the key to the game is to score more points than the other team. John it don't Madden. matter how many giving points us, I John take. Yeah, boom. Yeah, there you go. Hey, right. I, I agree with him. You know, everybody. Everybody who has, you know, the loser talk is the people who always ex- have an explanation at the end of the game. I know we're going to get to the past, you know, in a little bit. We lost to the Broncos this year. We lost, you know. I had all kinds of excuses of, you know, refs, this, this, and that. And the winners just looking at me like, uh-huh, that's how you lost, huh? Yeah. Oh, God, we got to put up with this shit on this. Yeah, it's going to be a battle. Oh, all right, well, uh, <laughs> before we do that, we're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're running that. Minute 52. <laughs> God have mercy on my soul. <laughs> this is going along here. So I'm going to let the, uh, the panel get a break here and get a, get to the bathroom right quick. So, all right, this is the Boston Court Podcast. We'll return briefly. We'll let the pet. Pa-
Why does it always start with three? Welcome back to the Balls Not Court Podcast. Cortez <laughs> Paul is here. Kevin Carter, <laughs> Steve Van Order, and Ambro, aka Mike Ambrose, is online. So, a catfish is not going to join us for this second half here. Uh, he had he's having signal issues due to uh, the One snowstorm. The Jonas, Jonas, the Jonas brothers, the Jonas brothers, there taking so, him out. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and, and knock out the rest of this end. So now it's. This is the game that you got two fans that are on the podcast that have been blah, waiting for. Blah, so blah, blah, this is blah, the blah. New England Patriots versus the Denver Broncos. It's going to be at 3.05 p.m. Eastern time because they're playing so early over there in Mountain Standard Time, Mountain Time, whatever. So some of the storylines for this game, it's the Manning versus Brady battle for the 17th time. How is it a battle when they do not play each other? They are not on the field at one time, at the same time, going at each other. You know what they Manning is it's not playing like, linebacker. Like, like, you know, Cam, Cam can have a, a game where he puts up seven points, and the defense does all the work, which has happened this season. And it'll be like, wow, look at the way Cam didn't ruin that game. He's great. Like, <laughs> neither <laughs> NFL is the greatest real like reality show ever. They make stories out of nothing all the time, and I think it's brilliant. <laughs> neither one of these guys plays defense so it do it it's not a rivalry because they don't play each other <laughs> their teams play each other how about that yes there you go but they still he's made played it, him more times in indianapolis than he's played him in denver yeah whatever uh november 29 you got okay, denver don't, 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 in new england yeah. behind brock oswald in a russian attack and overtime 30 brock uh they did not have no element in that game, and they lost Gronkowski at the end of the fourth quarter. What did you um, say? What? Wait, wait, wait. Now, hold, hold on. Hold on. What did you say there? Gronkowski at the end of the game in the fourth quarter. And they didn't have element. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Uh, England, Segway. They get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New England got here by defeating Kansas City. Um, they basically paced the game, and, and Kansas City tried to make a little bit of a comeback, and they did not. They pretty much had to pace. The <laughs> Their time game. management sucked. Uh, Denver actually had a battle with, with Pittsburgh and was down, and they came back. And, and they should have lost. And um, they pulled it out there. It was a squeaker that was a little bit too much for my liking. But anyways, Denver is here. And they, trans, they went ahead and won, and they're now playing the Patriots. So, um, All right, so we're going to go ahead and <laughs> I'll start with the questions. And first question I got is uh, speak on the impact that – Brady and Manny had on the on the league and their tenure in the NFL, and I'm gonna start with Steve. Start with me. Well, start with Kevin. Start with Kevin right? No, I said don't start. He said don't. Oh, start don't. With me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Jesus. Well, of course, as we all know, Eli is the better Manning brother. He's the greatest of all time. But we have to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk about Peyton. He has the Ian. The other guy. So I guess he's kind of elite. You know? The guy with the bigger head. <laughs> the bigger head, yes. Oh, his head is fucking huge. It has a lot uh, on his mind. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that big ass red mark on his forehead. You, you remember yeah. all those audibles over the years? It has an effect, man. 